Value teachers before it's too late was the message sent loud and clear at the primary teachers and principals strike yesterday. A cacophony of car horns and chanting could be heard across Gisborne streets as teachers and principals put on a passionate display. We want to come out here and show everyone that it is not about the money, it's about the kids. We want to support the kids and by supporting the kids, you need to support us. Why am I protesting? We're undervalued, underpaid. Okay, want to make a difference. Minister of Education Chris Hipkins said on Tuesday the teachers' claim for a 16% pay rise over two years was significantly higher than anybody else is getting, adding there is going to have to be significant movement on their side. We've got some fantastic teachers, we're all getting older and so who's going to take our places when we retire? I think the average age is 57 for teachers and it's just, it is going to be a huge crisis shortly. NZEI executive member and Wainui Beach school teacher Claire Scott said they can't wait for the next 10 years for the government to fix the problem in education. We've got teachers leaving the profession in high numbers around the country, not just in Auckland. There are less people, 40% less people training to become teachers in our country. They are saving education funding for a rainy day. Guess what? A tsunami is coming, she said. The Poverty Bay branch NZEI president, Jonathan Poole, said it was awesome to see so many passionate educators, parents and support staff turn out to have their collective voice heard. He said there was a real buzz from all of the district's teachers and it was time to make a change to shake up the teaching profession and make it an attractive option as a career choice again. We want the best possible teachers in front of our children, he said. Yesterday, more than 400 teachers and registered members of the Poverty Bay branch of the NZEI gathered at the Gisborne Cosmopolitan Club. Executive member of the Poverty Bay branch of the NZEI and Riverdale School acting principal Raniera Koya opened the official strike with a prayer and introduced the speakers at this bicultural and passionate rally. The strike ended at Calvin Park and Mr Paul said he thought it had been a great success.